Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about first date tips for women. So if you're a woman and you're going on a first date, uh, here are some good tips for you so that you have a good first date. Uh, the first one is enjoy yourself regardless of what you do. So uh, <laughs> there are a lot of women who will go out on a date and it's like this interview time. You know, it's like, you know, what do you do? What's this? What's that? You know, how's your relationship to your family? Are you looking for kids? You know, and it's just... It's not a good experience for a guy and it's not a good experience for you and you'll just hate dating after a while if you go out and do that when you go on a date. Um, so don't do that. Enjoy yourself instead and, and uh, you know have a good time no matter what it is that you're going out and doing and just be flexible and have a good time. The second one is allow the man to lead you. So a lot of women are kind of resistant to this and you know there's this big uh, kind of feminism push out there and and you know guys um, they, they like to feel like men men like to feel like men it's, unless it's a feminine guy who uh, if, it, if it is a feminine guy that you're on a date with then he's probably okay with you leading things but if he's trying to lead things if he's trying to move things in a certain direction unless you really don't like him you know just allow him to kind of move things and obviously don't do anything that you're not uh, comfortable with doing but you know if, if he you know, want to, you know, walk around, just, you know, just accept it and just be like, yeah, sure, let's go, you know, do walk around and do whatever, you know, uh, you want to take me on this experience that you want to take me on. And so um, that kind of brings us to our next one, which is connecting with your feminine side. Um, and so uh, kind of letting a man lead is, is uh, a feminine, ma a feminine thing to do. And so um, before you go, a lot of women, you know, they're in the workplace these days. And, and so um, it, the workplace is typically pretty masculine. In order to be successful in most workplace environments, you have to be masculine. And so they end up leaving the workplace and going on these dates and they're still in this masculine, you know, task oriented, you know, let's get things done type of attitude. And that's not very attractive. What is incredibly attractive and just absolutely magical and exciting and just wonderful in every single way is a woman who's in touch with her feminine side like that is just beautiful and gorgeous and amazing and so just so hot in so many different ways and and so if you want to a guy to be more attracted to you you know get a ritual of something that you do before you got on a date that uh, allows you to get more in touch with your feminine side it could be you know, having a bubble bath, it could be dancing around a room singing, you know, whatever it is, just allow yourself to connect with your feminine side. The next one is um, focus on what you like about him and what you're and what you like about what you're doing. So the more you um, can find things that you're enjoying about, you know, him and you enjoy about the place that you're in, um, the more you're going to enjoy the experience and the happy you will be and the happier you are the more he will like you so uh, you know guys want to make women happy and if you're already happy it's really easy for him and it makes him feel good about himself he's like wow this woman's just so carefree and easy to deal with that's a great thing to be <laughs> it's a great thing to be uh, very attractive to men so the next one is uh, ask him questions about his passion so guys love to talk about what they are into Right. And so find out what he's up to in life and just allow him to talk about it. And it's not necessarily his job. You know, it could be some passion that he has, you know, find out what he cares about in life and and just let him ramble on about that. That's a very attractive thing to a guy is to be able to talk about those things and it'll create an emotional connection with him. So the next one is talk about fun and exciting things that you've either done or that you are going to do. So um, it's really attractive to have a uh, an interesting life, you know, to have an interesting life outside of your relationships, to have s cool things going on, to have cool things that you've done. You know, that's really, really attractive to men. And so um, if you can talk about things that you've done or things that you're going to do that have been fun and exciting, that uh, can really connect with the man in a, in a great way. So the next one is um, if you like a guy, let him know that you're sexually attracted to him. And um, 
you know, but you don't want to come on too strong. But what you do want to do is make let him know that you're interested. So there's kind of this um, like really bad dating advice out there that talks about trying to get a guy to chase you or, um, you know, faking disinterest in a guy like that stuff is not that's not good. It's not good at all. It doesn't lead to um, a healthy relationship. It doesn't create a good foundation. Um, if you're interested in a guy, you know, just let him know by saying things like, uh, you know, just wait for him to do something that you like and just be like, oh, that was, you know, that was really attractive or, or say that was really hot or something like that. And, and, and basically what you're doing is you're letting him know that he's not in the friend zone with you, which, by the way, you know, one of the worst things for a guy is getting put into the friend zone and guys usually get put in the friend zone a lot. And so if he feels like he's in the friend zone, he probably won't continue to pursue you. So if you like him, let him know you're sexually attracted to him. And uh, he's much, much, much more likely to pursue you if you do. And so the last thing is if you enjoy yourself, uh, tell him that you'd like to, you'd like for him to take you out again, you know, or, or meet up with you again. Like, um, uh, again, you know, show interest, but don't show, you know, don't come on too strong, but, you know, at least let him know that you're interested because if you don't, then he won't pursue you. And if you do, and he is interested, you know, there's the chance of him pursuing you and taking you out again and asking you out on another date is massive. I mean, it's huge. So let him know. So that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz there. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.